Orlando, it's supposed to be the happiest place on earth, but Carl Anderson doesn't feel that way right now. It makes me feel like I was taken advantage of. It's, it's fraudulent. Like a lot of New Englanders, he and his extended family visited Florida this spring. To get around, they rented two cars through Thrifty, which is owned by car rental giant Hertz. The price was supposed to be $331 per car, but when they got to the rental counter at the Orlando airport, they were hit with an unexpected expense. When we got to the airport, they told us that liability insurance on the vehicles was required. That liability insurance supplement listed on their receipt as LIS added more than 15 bucks a day to the rental charge, clocking in at $111 per car. The family questioned it since they already have their own car insurance to cover their liability. So we argued. Uh, they ended up telling us that Unless we signed, we wouldn't be able to pick up the vehicles. So they lied to you? They lied right to our faces, exactly. To drive home the point, just after Carl Anderson reached out, Kathy Johnston also sent me an email with a similar story from another division of Hertz, Dollar Car Rental. I think I was misled. She and her husband, Lewis, came to New England to celebrate their 30th wedding anniversary this April. They were picking up their rental car at Logan when she says they were pressured to buy Dollar's insurance for the car itself. It's what's called loss damage waiver and doesn't come cheap at 35 bucks a day, adding $244 to the rental cost. Renting a vehicle is not something we do every day to, you know, so it's not something that I am well versed in. In addition to having her own car insurance, Kathy had also purchased this policy from the travel insurance company Allianz to cover any damage to the rental, as it was much cheaper than what Dollar offered. But she says the desk agent told her it wasn't valid in Massachusetts, even though he never looked at it. Our plane had been delayed. We were exhausted. We still had a two hours ahead of us to travel. And so we didn't want to take a chance. After being steered wrong, both customers tried contacting customer service, a task in itself to get the charges reversed. And we're both told it was too late. What they came back and they said in, in the, our initial outreach to them was, um, you know, you signed the agreement, this is what you agreed to. It's a good reminder, insurance sold by rental companies is optional. Most people have coverage from their own car insurance already. Plus, many credit cards, especially those geared toward travel, offer coverage for damage to a rental car if you use that card to pay for the rental. But as these customers learn, the time to fight that is before you sign on the dotted line. And when you go to complain on the website, you can't even talk to a real person. I think it's it's a scam. I think they're they're trying to, you know, quote you a lower price and, and take in almost double. I don't I don't think it's right. In a statement, Hertz told us that customer satisfaction is their top priority and they deeply regret these customers' experiences. The company also said their vehicle protection plans are optional and they are never required. They apologized to these customers, issued a refund, and said they will reinforce the company's policies with staff at those locations.